Hello, y'all. I'm back. Today's what? Well, May 8th, 2019. I just want to give my opinion. I know many people have given their opinion, their thoughts concerning Wendy Williams and her husband, uh, uh, baby mama drama. You know, when I first, I watch her from time to time, but not um, every day and consistently. But when I first stumbled across her channel on T, her program once, honestly, my honest opinion, I'm not throwing any shades. I'm just being honest and keeping it real because Wendy likes to keep it real. So I'm going to keep it real, girl. Honestly, when I first came across her channel, I was like, what is this? Is this, is this another RuPaul? Why can't these men just stay in their own lane and just be men? Honestly, I thought that's what she was like a drag queen, like a RuPaul. I'm not throwing shades. So I just flick it off. Then I think a few months later, I was flipping through the channel again. And I stumbled across her and she was talking about her son and her husband. I said, wait, he has a son and a husband. And I listened, listened. And I said, oh, so that's a woman. But she just looked like a drag. Honestly, I thought she was. But then I begin to listen more and more than I took liking to her program. I don't watch the entire program from beginning to end, but I do skip through and watch from time to time. Yes, I know you're going to say, oh, you're not holy. Well, that's your problem. Anyway, I do watch her program. Now, I'm really trying to make this video to make a point that as I've listened to some of the videos about the issue with her marital issues, and some people say, you know, that she's very, she's, she's come across very mean and tough. And sometimes she is. But I think because she gave it so she make it she speak her mind and she make it so real or she keeping it real. So many people think that's being mean because we live in a society everybody wants to be PC, politically correct. Everybody so sensitive you can't even tell them the truth they say you mean. So anyway, they said I should teach her a lesson for her to be nice and, and calm. Okay, bless her heart. I'm not here to discuss that. I'm really here to discuss that as I listen to all the interviews talking about her husband Kevin Hart and his mistress, a baby mama. Everyone who, have, who they have ever interviewed concerning Kevin and his mistress. I've always heard everyone say that she always cheats on Kevin all the time. That she's been cheating on him forever. But what do you expect? First of all, what do you expect? He's with his wife for 20-something years and he got his, they got his side chick for 10 years or so. And he expects his side chick to be faithful to him. My really issue, my problem with this video is, if Kevin has any sense, I will advise him to do some DNA tests to make sure that baby is his. I'm just saying... I ain't throwing no shades. If if everyone who have all the interview I've ever heard or saw on YouTube about Kevin's Hart side chick, Kevin Hart is Wendy's husband or soon to be ex husband, and he had him and Wendy be married for twenty something years, and he had his girlfriend on the side for ten years or so, and she supposedly just gave birth. But everyone who ever who knows them says that she has always cheated on Kevin. So if she have always been somebody who cheated on him, why is he so dumb to think that baby is his? If he has any sense, Kevin, I'm going to advise you, dude, get a DNA test. You're going to find out if that baby is yours or it ain't. Uh -huh. And if it ain't, you know, lost a wonderful, beautiful, sweet sister, a woman who created, had a career and put you in the, in the spot, like gave you a job. You don't mess it up. Dude, what's up, man? Anyway, that's my opinion. So you all tell Kevin Hart. Find out and make sure that baby is here. Do a DNA test. Maybe she cheated on you with somebody else. And if she did and that baby belongs to somebody else, you deserve that, Kevin. Thank you. Mm.